that you are always revealing and showing to us from scriptures of truth. We pray, Lord, this day that you will help us and lead us right. Help us, Lord, that the Holy Spirit of God will pray to us. The Spirit of God will take over and take charge, of oh God, in heaven. We don't know what to pray about, but the Spirit, you will help our infirmity with goodness, which cannot be altered. Spirit of the <laughs> living God. <laughs> We ask, O oh God, that you will have your way, and your name alone will be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. This morning, we want to begin to give thanks unto the Lord for his loving kindness and tender mercies. We want to begin to give glory and honor and adoration unto the Most High God who had been from Hello, time. Lord. We could bless you, we praise your name for one. Let's give him your goodness. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your hand upon us. We bless your holy name because you are God. And beside you, Lord, there is no order. We thank you for your daily protection upon us, upon our children, upon our spouses. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Let's worship him. Let's lift his hand. Yeah. Before his soul is in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. To thank the Lord for the scripture, the Bible says he giveth his beloved sleep. You find in many places the money is there, the people have the money and all of that, but yet they cannot find sleep they go to nightclub they go to different places and then to get sleep like the, like the word of god has promised they cannot get sleep and then they are restless everywhere they use medication to sleep and then they wake up their dreams they are being terrified but here we are we sleep like baby here we are we sleep and nothing terrifies us nothing disturbs or nothing bothers us and then we enjoy our sleep. We want to give thanks unto the Lord for giving us good sleep. The Bible says, give it his beloved good sleep. We want to honor the name of the Lord and worship him. Let's praise his The reference to me. The privilege to sleep. Because uh, it's not that cheap. Some people have this morning, they have everything. Or oh, yeah, they cannot sleep. Because they are restless. Because they are being terrified, they close their eyes. It's like something terrible is going to happen to them. But oh God, we uh, always be there for us. We lie down the bed before we know we are gone. We to the chair before we know we are gone. Oh Lord, we are gone, you Lord. That God wants to Lord. Let's be here for your name, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, I'm, I'm sorry, my voice is, uh, I guess, because of the series of uh, this thing I've been. <laughs> so, but I believe we can hear me. Can you hear me, Pastor? Yes, yes can I hear you. Yes. So this morning, we are looking at the this prayer, Divine Direction, Divine Direction. I read from Psalm 32 verse 8 divine direction so that's what we are concentrating on this morning <clears throat> divine direction so in psalm 32 in verse 8 let's see what the scripture is telling us there it says for divine direction verse 8 I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eye. I want to pray that we will not lack instruction of the Lord as the head of the home, as the head of the family. We want to cry unto God that in the name of Jesus, we will not lack divine instruction. Shall we open our mouth and pray? I we will not. Turn of me. We pray, Lord God. Oh, also guide us the way we go with pray. That all that will not lack divine. All that will do, O Lord, in Jesus' name. 
What we do, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 It's, a, it's a dangerous thing for a pastor not to have instruction from the Lord how to live and how to conduct. And it's a dangerous thing for the head of the home not to have instruction. You remember the case of Saul, the first king in Israel? At the point, because of regular and continued disobedience, there was no longer divine instruction for him. So disobedient block instruction of God. We are going to pray and say, oh Lord God, where we have we fully or where we have disobeyed, or in any area, oh God, we have done things that is making us not to receive regular and constant instruction from you, whether ourselves, whether our children, whether our wives. Let the Lord God have mercy and forgive us this morning. Shall we go before the Lord and pray? Now we come before your throne. This morning we pray, O Lord, that we help us anywhere we are in a street, anywhere we are in the doing right or living up to expectation, uh, not receiving your devotion. Pray that you have mercy and forgive us, O Lord, and let us be all our way, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come before the throne of mercy this morning. We come before the throne of mercy. We come before the in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, we saw that he did everything he could. Saul did everything he could. So to, uh, to know where to go out to battle, there was no coming, there was no voice, there was nothing, nothing until he went ahead to into familiar spirits. And because God was not speaking, everywhere was silent and everywhere was blocked. There was no coming, there was no nothing, nothing, no divine guidance, nothing. It was blank, it was empty. As a matter of fact, it was left to himself. We want to cry to God, may we not be left to ourselves. May our home not be left to ourselves. May our family not be left to ourselves. Jesus, let's cry to God, the Lord will not leave us to ourselves. In the name of Jesus, oh God, my I am God of God, grant unto us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we come to share I am reading from Genesis, the book of Genesis, chapter 13. Genesis 13. Let's see. How it started with a family. Remember, our Monday prayer is for family, and uh, so many people do not know that a lot is happening in the family. And once the devil captures a family, the girl is not taken, he has captured a society. So, a society is a smaller, a bigger unit of family, uh, and a family is a smaller unit of the family, of the society. Let's see it now. In 
uh, Genesis 13, 13, and then I'm reading it from uh, verse 10. And Lord lifted up his eyes in verse 10 of Genesis 13, and Lord lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou comest into Zohar. The Lord choosing all the plain of Jordan, Lord journey east, and they separated themselves the one from the other. And uh, what we were told here, in verse 13, but in, uh, verse 12, Father, but Abraham dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lord dwelt in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent towards Sodom. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. The, choice of, the choice of relocation and the choice of accommodation uh, without the divine backing can cut short someone's life, can cut short and destroy a, f a family completely and totally. You see, they say, there's a general, general, uh, this thing as to, oh, let me leave this place now and move to this location. Let me leave this place now. And many are living for different reasons known to them. And you cannot condemn them. For example, people live in Nigeria now to different parts of the world. Can you blame them? No, you cannot. It's, it's you know, sometimes you, you see the way some pastor will talk. And uh, it's easier said than done. They will say it, they will condemn some things. But when it's not their turn, they will do exactly the same thing they were condemning. But the point is that as much as we cannot condemn people who are traveling here and there, but let's come to believer now. For the believer, we don't live like others. We find out what God's will is for us. And as long as we are the very center of the will of God, the truth is that we are secure and protected. But once we go outside of his will, instruction, guidance, and direction, we become very susceptible to the attack of the enemy. That's how some believers were slain. That's how some believers became a prey in the hand of the devil. They went outside the boundary they were told not to go. They went outside the direction of the Lord for their lives, and they became vulnerable to the attack of the devil, and they were slain and destroyed. The entire family. What happened? That was exactly the case of Lot. Lord chose. He would have remained with Abraham. Highest, he would have just told Abraham, okay, look at it. I cannot choose. You choose first. But greed will not allow him. He want to cry unto God. As many men who are living on greed and covetousness, Maybe because the economy is even very tough. You find some people becoming greedy, and becoming, you know, not transparent and not loyal and not having integrity anymore. Want to pray the canker of greediness like lots will not enter into our hearts. The canker is now it's a canker, it's a serious canker, it's a serious problem. You find pastors. God who are becoming covetous. Father, 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 Taking decision for that, I pray you grant unto me, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, that you take greediness away from me. For the pray. Amen. We pray. Amen. 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 If you observe, Lord, if you observe, Lord, there was a kind of movement. Lord never consulted anything, nothing, nothing. It, there was no consultation. Now, the truth is, when I was to live where I was, I was staying in a uh, pastor. Pastor Peter knows the former place I was. So it was a two-bedroom flat apartment in a particular estate. And then 
and I was to move to from that place to another place. You see, because I had understood that knowing the will of God is very, very important. I have learned that. I have learned that it's not just only in marriage you begin to pray for will of God like erroneously the way some people do. They, they equate will of God to only in marriage. They don't know that you need to know the will of God for every details of your life. And then I needed to be sure of where God wants us to be. Do you know we were divinely led? I, I, I can tell you, I can share testimony here. Even where God did not want us, we have even made payments in a particular place. I am telling you, payments have been made. We were to just say, come and do some other thing and all of that. But something just came up all of a sudden. And it's obvious God will not want us to stay in that place. Very obvious, very obvious. We were, we have made payments already. We had to go back. Please get us our money. We need our money. We can't stay here again. And then where I am now, bigger than where I was before. And I can tell you, honestly, it's been amazing and glorious and beautiful and excellent. God leads. We want to pray in the name of Jesus we will not walk by sight. Every trace is of carnality. In the name of Jesus. Father, we will come before your throne of mercy this morning. O Lord, we pray that you help me in the grace. My word, in the grace, let my pray, let the grace that you will not walk carnally, O Lord, that when the question of where to walk, where to be, of where to be, O Lord, the grace that is not carnal, but that we let Amen. I'm going to pray for our pastors who have children who are already grown up to the point of marriage, Pastor Peter and Cole and the rest of them who have children who are already, they will not be led by flesh. They Amen. will not be led, they will not be led by their head. They Amen. Their God. Oh, I remember some prayer I like pray. I remember things I told God when I was praying for marriage. I didn't want to, I, I had to even tell God. I had to even be, you know, be so sure that I was not led of my head. I had to relax in God that it will not be kind of thing that will lead me. But today I look back, no regret. Today I come back, no regret. Because I was led of the Lord, she was led of the Lord, and we were led of the Lord. We want to pray and say, oh God, in the name of Jesus, the children will not be led of flesh. They will not Amen. be led. God and heaven, I come before you. I bring my children, Peter, precious, and peace before you. Pray, O oh Lord, that you will open your eyes. That you will be led by you, O oh Lord. In the issue of sentiment, O Lord, in Jesus' name. That you will not let us let you know. Never what this person has. But then I will pray, O oh Lord, that you got to them, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. That I need a children by me. By your divine leading, O oh Lord, lead them by divine power, O oh Lord, lead them by divine power, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We want to seriously, seriously cry to God on behalf of our wives. I hope you know that what has led to the grave of some men was as a result of the cancer given to them by their wives. I'm telling you, what has led to the untimely death of some men was as a result of, and the men were not discerning. They were not discerning. They heeded what their wives said. You know, some people think that uh, because uh, you are a Christian father, leader, and all that, and you love your wife, so you must listen to every cancer given to you by your wife. It cannot be now. I have even made that known to my own wife. I have made it known that, of course, yes, I will listen, you will listen, but you cannot take every counsel. You are still in charge. You are still the head of the home. And the, you have to know that, that if anything goes wrong, it still comes back to you. And so you'll be discerning. You'll be discerning. You will be discerning. And then there are men. 
There are men, they, they tell you, oh, I cannot deny my wife for what she asks for. I cannot deny my, even when she's demanding something that is not perfect will of God, even when she's demanding something that is not in accordance with scripture, and they don't want the, the woman to cry, hey, I love my wife, you love your wife, and you don't love the Bible, you love your wife, and you don't love God, and you don't love his commandments. No, that cannot be right. And as a result, they went off tangents, and they have, it has led to their untimely death. Exactly what Eve did to Adam. Adam, take this apple. Adam should have asked questions. Adam should have demanded answer. Adam should have asked. He should have asked. He should have asked. He should have asked. There are places where we ask questions on him. Darling, I thought you were not having money at all this morning when we spoke. How come you were able to buy Apple and buy this this morning? Where did you get this from? And all that, no question. And it just ate. And that has landed humanity into trouble. You remember what Abraham's wife said? He said, go in into Agar. And then he went in. No question. Abraham should have viewed the senses. Abraham should have been discerning. And then, oh, no, we can't do that. That's sin. That's evil. That's not right. That's not scriptural. How could I do that? God had made a promise already. Do you know it was in Genesis chapter 16, Abraham did that. And as a Genesis 15, God had made a powerful promise. He ignored the promise. He ignored what God has said. And he followed the why. You see where it has landed us today now? I, I believe we understand the meaning of that. You, you know what is happening now around the world. There are decisions that will land people in trouble and land generation in trouble who want to cry unto God and pray in the name of Jesus. God will wear up our wives. Our wives, oh God, they will assist them. They will not walk by carnality. There are many mm -hmm. wives are spiritual. You find a situation where a man is spiritual, but the wife is carnal. You find a place where a pastor is highly being used by God, but the wife is terribly fleshly and very, you know, so worldly and so carnal. We want to cry to God, our wives will be spiritual. They will not mm -hmm. give. But then heaven will come before your throne of mercy. Yes, 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 yes. My wife before you, I pray, oh Lord, that man will rest mightily upon her. I know, oh Lord, that nothing can position the oh Lord, you will lay on you, wait on you to take it and to bring the dash to the Oh Father, we pray that you help her, that you she should be a virtuous woman all around her life, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, and I pray. That you give us the grace, O oh Lord, to continue to move on, to continue to move on, to be oh, that everything finality will take away from us, O oh Lord, to stand by the grace of the decision. What is this? In the name of Jesus, we make our wives spiritual. Our wives will not be carnal. Our wives will not be fleshly. And you also help us as men to be wise. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. Now we have prayed for the women. Uh, also, we will continue praying for men. Remember, I told us earlier ago that if anything goes wrong, who is to be held responsible to God and to heaven? The man will be responsible. You see, all this one that you, you go for a family uh, meeting, they will say, uh, it's the wife that made the home to be like that. <laughs> mm. It's not the way human be talk. Oh. It's not the way all this family meeting talk. That's how God sees it too. It is the man God we all responsible. It is the man. It's the man God go all responsible. Are you aware that when the whole thing happened, God came to Adam. Adam, Adam, where art thou? Not if, if, where art thou? Adam, you were the one I gave instruction. You were the one, you were supposed to give leading to the family. You were supposed to direct your family. 
you left your duty post and then you you left your 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 responsibility and here you are now the family have been plunged into trouble why did you do what i ask you not to do he said he's a woman all those if we're to be earthly people he said a woman you are a wicked woman you are this you are that to god god we owe that man responsible have you realized Many of the pastors, when they are preaching, they focus too much on the women. And they say, the woman is this, the woman is that. Uh, be a 30, 30, 30, uh, 31, uh, uh, 31st proverb woman, this one and that one. They don't talk about the men. Many men are not taught. I'm sorry to say this. I'm very, very sorry. Many men are not taught. When you go to some home and you see the way some men behave, you will, you will weep. You will cry. You will wonder, uh, does this man understand that he's the head of the home? The, his actions show that he does not even know his responsibility. Uh, we are not like that by the grace of God. We are taught by the grace of God. We come here every Monday and we dish out things and we reveal things. We want to pray, we will be discerning and wise. The Bible says wisdom is a principal thing. Get wisdom in all that getting, get understanding. What we will be wise. Have you realized that men, women want people who can lead them? Oh, oh, Jesus. The young, I wish I can talk to young people about the kind of thing women want. Women like men who are courageous, men who can take decisions, men who know the way to go and lead the family. They want to stay, yes, under the cover. Not that uh, the wife is confused, the husband is confused. No, Kogbodo Jobe, Kogbodo Jobe, Kogbodo Jobe. And then the children are confused, the wife is confused. The man should not be confused. The man should find a way out to direct the family. We want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will give us supernatural wisdom to lead our home. So, supernatural Amen. wisdom. Give us knowledge, give us understanding, give us discretion, help us to be able to lead our families in the way of the Lord, to be able to take decisions that will better the life of our family, the health of our family. In the way and the fear of the Lord, Almighty Father, make our families, O God, by your grace and power, what you want it to be. With the peaceful leader, so that we can be with Jesus. Make our families who go be happy, Father. We come before you, I pray. So we need to go strong with the Lord to serve us and support all those who give us a way to be family in the name of Jesus. My dear Lord. Help our families, O oh God. Keep our families, O oh God. You are very interested in family. O oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus. That is what that was why Jesus said, What God has tried together, let people put asunder. Because the family, O oh God, is so important to you, O oh Lord. Amen. I, I, I'm sure many of our pastors are here and they travel, I'm sure, quite a lot, some or they make journey quite a lot, particularly Pastor Peter, who is here. He travels every now and then. Sometimes we are talking, oh, I'm in so so place, I'm going to so so place, and all of that. And I'm sure Pastor Peter will agree that many times, I'm not, I don't I don't think uh, maybe a few times, many times you would have part a, a, a place and then you will realize that an accident had taken place either before the time or when you have just passed. And then you are told that, oh, an accident just occurred before you got there. And uh, I, I don't know, I, I think uh, Pastor Peter, you will agree with me, you have seen things like that many, many times. That yes, you just uh -huh. And then, and sometimes some of those accidents, lives were literally lost. I mean, they were lost. And then, but this person is always plying that same road. 
applying this to applying that hole, and people are dying. They are sometimes you hear that car falling on some cars, and lives are being wasted. And then what people in that same world every now and then, and God is just guiding and protecting and preserving. That's what we are saying. That's what we are saying. We will not die like chicken. We will not Amen. die. Amen. And you Amen. want to say in the name of Jesus, our children, our entire family shall be divinely protected. Ritually, we, pastor, we lay our men, we lay our wives, we lay our children. In the day, in the night, we are heavily protected. In the day, in the day, in the night, we are heavily shielded. Let's pray that God will continue to protect us. God will continue to bring Ever we come before your throne of mercy, Lord. Father, we pray that your protection will be upon us in all that we do. Father, we pray that your protection will be that you will be the name of Jesus. Father, we come before your throne of mercy, Lord. Father, we pray that your spirit will be the name of Jesus. All that you all that you all you have been doing. in our life, in our families, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for that Abide with us, put your power is upon us. The Bible says, touch us and grace. And I pray, put us in the mark of touch now, in the name of Jesus, that you will touch us, that keep us for God, keep our family. Keep our home, keep our wife, keep our husband, keep us from love, keep us from love. Amen. Glorify, O Lord, in Jesus. Amen. I've been saying in Jesus' name, we pray seriously. My children are the one answering me since. Okay, yeah. let me say for the last time, in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, in Genesis chapter 35, and God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel. Now, this was God, though. This was God speaking now. So Jacob was actually somewhere. Uh, it was somewhere. So he thinks that God can actually give an instruction to relocate. Are we, do we follow now? All this yes, one sir. that uh, we just say, uh, don't relocate from Nigeria, uh, Isaac so in the land, and he was blessed in the, you know, let's not be monotonous with uh, some preaching, uh, as Isaac so in the land. And so they only read that place, so they will not come and read this place where God instructed someone to go somewhere. Hey, God can instruct you to leave Nigeria and go to U.S., when he say, when he gives you such instruction, he will make provision for such instruction. But when mm. you go outside God's will and God's boundary and God's perimeter, then you are vulnerable to any attack and any destruction of the devil. That's it. Oh. That's how some believers are attacked. Oh. You say, ah, bah, Lord, yes. ah, how come the arrow got to that man? Huh? That man is a believer. Oh, you don't understand. Sometimes it's possible that man has, has misfired. It's possible that man had broken the edge. It's possible that man had done what he should not have done. And sometimes we just, you go there, you are firing prayer and killing demon, oh demon, whatever. No, sometimes you need to inquire. Sometimes you need to ask questions. And sometimes you need to plead for mercy. Mercy will not prevail. But to begin to castigate demon and castigate the only work, only work. He has broken the edge sometimes. Sometimes because the edge has been broken. And then, so... There are times God can give instruction. My son, live where you are now. I don't want you to stay here. I will make provision for your relocation. Go straight to Germany. Go straight to France. Go straight. 
when God gives such instruction, I am telling you, you will go to such land, you will not struggle. You know why? Because the divine instruction and backing is there, and God will make provision for the promise he has given. And so let's see what happened here. When God said go to Bethel, then while he was going, in verse 3, let's see it now. Uh, Jacob complied, he complied, may we have children, may we have wives who believe in our leadership in the home as led by the Lord in Jesus' name. In verse, Amen. Uh, Amen. verse, uh, in verse 5, in verse 5, and they journeyed, and they journeyed, as in, according to the divine instruction now, because by this time, uh, Jacob was in a place called Shechem, and Shechem was not the divine place of God for him. And they journeyed, and the terror of God was upon the city where they were around about, the and they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. Do we understand this place at all? Mm -hmm. And the people were not making journey. Jacob and his family, in compliance to what God had given, said, in compliance to the instruction of God, and then they began to journey. And as they were journeying, as they were moving, we were told in scripture here, there were places they entered, there were places they were going, they were dreaded places, dreaded. I mean, maybe you have ritually, you have this, you have people who want to hurt them, but they could not hurt them. Who well, only touch you, well, they could not touch them. You know why? A man at the center of the will of God is immortal until his work on earth is done. You can't kill a man under the center of the will of God until God say, okay, that's the end. That's your work. You have finished your work. You can come home, son. Come home, daughter. Come home, my son, my child, my son, my daughter. Come home. Except that you can't kill such a man. You can't. That's why I have always believed that I cannot be killed by Satan. I cannot be killed by witches and wizards. I have said that yes. over I have said it on the pulpit. I have challenged my member. I have said it. I have even told them I cannot be in a vehicle. A child of the devil will blow powder, and that powder will not make me sleep. Or it will not enter me. Then you will have to kill God. You will kill Christ. You will kill the Holy Ghost. Then you will kill me. You will kill me. You can only kill me. If you can kill all these ones I have mentioned, then you will kill me. That's why we want to make sure and pray in the name of Jesus that the God of heaven will help us to be obedient to divine instruction, divine instruction, we shall be obedient. And the soul of children of men, the Lord will pray, pray in the name of Jesus. Give them child in the name of Jesus. We pray and we have this thing here. Oh Lord, everyone who have this thing here, we are the Lord. 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 prayer now the last prayer there was a prayer we prayed last night i uh, and I, I i told us that we should ask it quietly where i told us that we should ask what we want what we want god to do for us and and i i i i, I feel that i might need to want to monitor that prayer because something is going to happen i also ask the lord and every one of us today again we want to add that same prayer now, they say the country is very hard. Yes, please don't say it is hard for you. It will not be hard for you in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. You see, I am one of those that hate negative confession. I hate it with passion. I hate, I don't like negative. Yes, the country is very tough for people. Very tough. This That is the reality. It's very, very tough for people. But do you know, if we are to really go to scripture, you will discover that even in famine, God sustain his own. Yes, we are praying for the country. I hope you, you know, you cannot be saying because it's well with your family, you are not concerned about all that. That becomes selfishness. No. So we pray for the country. But my point is, in the name of Jesus, 
the people of God who we pray together here, you will not be beggar. You will not. It will not be hard for you. Believe it. It will not be. God will make a way. That's the last prayer point. Okay, to God, to God, to God, to you will say, oh, I ask for you in the name of Jesus. You will surprise God with us not to give out to the Lord in Jesus' name. Sure. Sure. Lack what is good in the name of Jesus. I pray for myself. I pray. Give for me to pray for it's our law testimony is our portion miracle is as we are going in some of you here, your testimony will be a if we it will be so urgent, it will be so immediate that by Amen. Thursday, you are, you are coming to share your testimony. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' Amen. name, we pray. Amen. 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 Um, I have a very short period and I want a lot of things to share with us. But God will help me in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Which uh, Mrs. Um, uh, call him alone, you anyway. Uh, and he, <laughs> his name has just because of what I want to say. It's okay, me. No, 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 it's okay, me. The wife of uh, I appreciate your name, sir, ma, Mrs. Okay, me. The uh, uh, bra. Uh, our brother that just led us. Don't say I'm so foolish to say that. <laughs> okay, Pastor Yomi. Pastor You know that's the least name I was supposed to forget. Yes. Uh, uh, the Bible let me know that the Jesus is the husband of the church. Yes. And then in Yoruba land, they always say, Timoba uh, instead of your meaning buffet. <laughs> 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 uh so uh Mrs. Yomi, uh I don't know why the full name is escaping my mind. Maybe because God what uh the wife of brother Yomi uh hey, Pastor Yomi help us now. <laughs> your yeah, your there's one name, the the son name. Omorewa. Okay. Omorewa. Omorewa. Uh, Omorewa. So the Bible let me know that the the Jesus is the husband of the church. Then you buy language, they, they always say, they will make the name of that person to appear there. That's Bimoba Joben, your main name, by uh, I want to let the mommy know that we appreciate your husband too much. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, right? the grace God has given to him will not die in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, you know, I've not seen him in the, in the, in the picture. I always think the way this brother is talking, you remember then I always call him alone. Yo. Ah, the whenever he's preaching, I always look at the somebody that is not uh I want you to I always mind the word before I say it. So when I use fat, please do not misquote me. I always think it's somebody that is very slim because when you look at his voice, this voice like somebody that <laughs> been training his voice <laughs> at, so that he doesn't eat, he doesn't drink, he doesn't he limits everything. But when you see the brother when they are doing the publicity, that's when I always sing. You see him in the front, still jumping with the a lot of bodybuilder. I don't ah, where is the brother <laughs> gets all this. I'm nice to explain. All this mineral that is using. That's why that's all this mineral. See, see, it's 